Hey guys, welcome back to the Cooper Cricket Workshop. Today we're gonna to talk about something a little different. We're gonna talk about broken bats. When I say broken bats, I mean ridiculously broken bats. So we get lots of customers come in where we need to repair bats. They have you know cracks in their handles or the shoulders or every now and again, we get a bat that is just too broken. Generally, what happens when that is the case is that the cracks start going across the bat this way. Really hard to fix, hard to clamp, really hard to warrant any type of repairs. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix these bats, and we have fixed some of these bats, and we're gonna take them to the nets and see how they go. So first things first, we've fixed a couple of these, but well, we have to fix this one, the worst one. So let's get into it. test out these broken bats, see how they go. So we've got one here that's been shattered on the, uh, the back of the bat. So that's been glued up with a polyurethane uh, glue. We've got the one that was completely broken apart. That's just been fixed up with PVA glue. No extra supports, just glued straight together. And we've got this other bat that has been glued together with polyurethane glue as well. Similar break to the first bat, um, so we'll see how this goes. So we've got Josh here today. We've brought him along. He's one of our bat makers and massive hitter of the ball. And uh, he's in charge of trying to break these bad boys today. I'd like to think that these bats will hold up really well, but my gut feeling is that they're gonna blow apart. Well, how do you think that one will go? That was a pretty significant crack through there. Yeah, I think it'll last a little while. I don't think it's gonna break within the first 20 balls. This one here is probably not as bad a break. I think that one that you had before has got a, a crack that goes, you know, from the almost to the front of the bat. But um, yeah. but that one's not too bad. But I'm expecting this to not last long at all. I'm yeah. hoping it does. I'm very hopeful, but I, I just don't think it will. Yeah. See what I can do to it. <laughs> uh, so we'll give Josh an overall two with each bat and see how they go. He's going to try and hit him as hard as he can to try and really bludgeon the ball and uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Feels pretty good. <laughs> Sounds unreal. Still holding up all right. Oh no. Starting to crack again. Yeah, good. From the, coming out from down further. Yep. Starting to crack. Give it over. Yeah, see if I can keep breaking it more. See if we can like really break it. Really break it, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's still gone 90 <laughs> meters. All right. Whoa, that towed it. Yeah. Sounded bad. It's about to, it's about to explode. 
Like. Right, I'll give you another one there. Yeah. Oh. Ah, out. Oh, sorry. Oh, I think that one did more damage. <laughs> oh, that's end lock. <laughs> it's almost, you can see it all the way up too. It's starting to come up. So it's gone across there. You can just see the faint. Yep. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh. oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Just goes to show that these types of brakes are always extremely dangerous and, and they're usually a bat killer. The really hard part is you don't know how deep the brake goes unless you actually pull the whole bat apart and then glue it back together, which you wouldn't do anyway. But, um, but clearly there were more brakes through there than, than we could see all glued together. So anyway, let's go to bat number two. Bat two. Right. So bat two, it's worth noting that we've got, um, so cracks down from the uh, bottom of the splice, but on the other side there is a bit of a crack at the handle here and we have just put a little bit of glue in there um, But of course if we're going to fix that properly, we would replace the handle, but there's also a bit of a crack down there So we'll see how it goes uh, I don't see the handle lasting long at all. I think it'll crack all the way through and then the bat will go flying <laughs> that one's just body line. <laughs> oh, sorry. Felt it a little bit then. Oh. Can feel it start to whip more and more. Can you? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh. That got it to crack again. Yeah. Oh, through the, where the original brake was? Yeah, through the repair. Oh, where we've glued it up there. Not sure what sort of... Oh yeah, I can see it from here. It hasn't really cracked much more. Hasn't it? No. Oh. <coughs> Still about the same. Oh. Ah. Oh, that sounded bad. <laughs> I'm not sure, because like, it is it is going, but it's going real slow. Yeah. Like. Well, that wasn't, the brake wasn't as big as the, as the other one. Yeah. It's almost, what, halfway down the bat now. So you can see there with the, with the crack running down here, this will eventually just keep coming out. Uh, it's worth noting, I know we said we, this crack was here, this handle wasn't repaired whatsoever, so um, it's interesting to see what happens. 
uh, once you know you keep using a bat you know once it's broken it will just keep breaking and breaking and breaking uh, so we might leave that one there eventually that would explode but um, let's get into the most exciting bat which is the uh, the one that's been totally blown apart before so let's do it cool Actually, didn't feel that bad. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that answers that question. That does answer that question. Uh, no extra breakages, it was just a complete disaster, as predicted. So there we have it, it's, uh, whenever it breaks like this, you can never fix it, in my opinion, in our opinion. Um, so anyway, we'll uh, maybe salvage this for some parts on another day. This was something a little bit different for us. Of course, we like to be able to try and fix all bats that come in, but um, as we've clearly seen, the, these types of brakes really are the end for the bat. If you want us to test anything else out, um, leave a question in the comments below and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.